What we're talking about here is probably one of the most loaded issues in youth sports, the playing time issue. And fair or unfair, coaches, it's a coach's prerogative to determine who plays and who gets the playing time. When we move away from rec sports, recreational sports, into competitive sports, it's the coach's prerogative. So probably the, the first piece of advice I have for parents is check your emotions at the door. It is incredibly evocative for parents to see their kids suffering. And there's no greater suffering in sports than when you have to sit on the bench. So it's very critical that when you're dealing with your child around this issue and anyone else, other parents, that you keep your emotions out of it. It's sort of like when we get emotional, none of us are troubled by deep waves of thought. We say really dumb things. So we need to maintain that kind of professional adult perspective. That, that's absolutely key. I think the other thing that's important for parents to keep in mind is we want to encourage our children, like it or not, to play the role that the coach assigned them on the team. This is how teams win. This is how you learn to support your teammates. And if your role is a support player, you come off the bench, you might not like it, but it's absolutely critical that you learn to do that role to the best of your ability. And we want parents to support their kids, to encourage their kids to do that. The other key issue, and again, it comes from a parent's perspective, having a better perspective, is you want to encourage your children to channel their disappointment and their anger and their frustration and their feelings that this isn't fair into hard work. You want them to take the adversity of not getting playing time and use it to motivate themselves. Use it to work much harder. Use it to maintain a positive attitude. Uh, and to not, it's very easy for kids to kind of succumb to the gravitational pull of disappointment and being bitter. And you don't want them to do that. You want to encourage them to channel it constructively. Well, I think if, you're, if your child's old enough, it's reasonable to encourage them, like if they're an adolescent, it's reasonable to encourage them to talk to the coach about it. You know, my advice around that is you go and talk to the coach in this kind of way. It's kind of like having the attitude, so coach, what do I need to do to get better? You know, I'd like more playing time, but I want to get better. So what, what can I do to get better? Give me some drills, give me some exercises, that sort of thing. Um, now, having said that, sometimes your child is not old enough to talk to the coach. And my advice to you about you talking to the coach is it is a very slippery, very steep slope. And if you are going to talk to the coach, I would not go beyond asking him or her the same kind of informational question. What can my child do to improve? What can my child do to get better? Because I think the last thing you want to do as a parent is get involved in a discussion with the coach about, hey, my child deserves to be playing, um, and you're not starting him, and my child's better than so-and-so. Because I think to every parent, even when you have a perspective, you don't have a perspective, because it's your child. And, you know, the coach, again, let's, let's, let me come back to my initial point. Fair or unfair, it is the coach's prerogative to determine who plays or not. And it's very important that you as a parent keep that in perspective, and I guess in closing, to help your child maintain all of this in perspective. So it might be your child's not getting playing time now, but if they work hard and they're dedicated and motivated, you know, maybe next year they'll get more playing time. Maybe they're a freshman now. Maybe by the time they're a junior or a senior, their time will come. Their moment will come. You know, it's important, again, be empathic with your child. It's a very hard role to play. Being a support player, sitting on the bench, toughest role on the team to play, 
but someone has to play it. And you want to help your child play it with class and dignity and motivation.